come, you say you will when you won't. Oh, baby, do, baby, when you don't. Let me know, honey, how love feels. Here's the truth now, is love real? Honey, don't. Good morning. My name's uh, Fred Astaire. And it's uh, Friday, November the uh, 33rd. <laughs> I'm lying, but that's what we're going to talk about today. My name's Tom Remington, and welcome to another episode of Open Air with Tom Remington. And you know, because lying is a sin, okay? Now, if you're one of those people with no scruples, morals, don't believe in the Bible, don't believe in God and that sort of stuff, it's probably a pretty good chance that, you know, you, you're one of those that doesn't put a lot of emphasis on, you know, what lying has done or is doing to our society. But what what has happened is... You know, you you go back to, you could go back to Adam and Eve, you know, is kind of where it all started. But, you know, of of late, uh, because we remember the, uh, well, I didn't lie, I didn't lie, I don't even know what a lie is, Um, to I did not have sexual relations with that woman, or it doesn't, it depends on what the meaning of is is. Well, you know, the, the, The bad part of lying is, you know, other than it, you know, the initial lie is one thing, but it's it's all the collateral damage that results from lying that, you know, creates this. It's just a web of of of, it's a mess, and you know we, whatever you know, but when when there are consequences for your actions, it, it you know. And and from the beginning of time, when you when you like when you have children, you raise them. If you can teach them that lying is is bad, and 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 teach them, you know what the 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 domino effect, if you will, that that results from lying. But not to get onto a, a whole thing about you know lying, you know from from that perspective, but. What has happened in our society, and and I'm not, you know, I'm not sitting here preaching something that I pulled out of the air. I mean, this is, I get, it's statistically uh, proven that the majority of people today, mostly the younger generation, uh, believe that the ends justify the means when it comes to lying. And, uh, you know, this was brought out when it came to cheating on tests in school and, you know, that sort of stuff. And that it was it was okay to do that because when you did that, you were going to get a grade that would end up getting you a degree, which, you know, blah, 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 blah. So what has happened with lying is that it's become socially acceptable to do. And I mean, we 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 see it every day, and now it's to the point where um, it's okay to lie if if you think that the end is justifying the means, and if you combine that with uh, political correctness, okay. So think about this for a minute. We live in a society that, for the most part, believes that lying is okay. Um, It doesn't hurt anything. The end justifies the means. And put that together with political correctness, and you, you somehow have further justified the need to lie in order to be politically correct. Well... You need to understand that political correctness is censorship. It doesn't matter. You can't tell the truth if it's not politically correct to do so. And, of course, being politically correct, part of that is, well, you don't want to offend somebody. 
um, you know, and and so these days, if you say anything that contradicts somebody else, and I'm not taking sides right or left, it works both ways. And but if you contradict what somebody else has said or they believe then you are labeled something. You're labeled a unpatriotic. You're labeled a liar. <laughs> you're labeled a racist. You're labeled a, a sexist. You're labeled a child abuse. You know, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But the sickness that has uh, come about from those two things, as I said, the... the uh, the dumbing down, if you will, of, of lying, that it's socially acceptable combined with the political correctness. And you have things that we see going on today, you know, where, as an example, you have the White House who just, for some reason or other, it seems determined that they're going to censor Fox News because they don't agree with them on everything. Now, you know, Fox News, NBC, CBS, ABC, all of them, everybody, myself included, okay, we all present opinion, opinion programming. It's what people want to hear, talk radio. You know, a lot of that is, is it's all commentary, opinion, radio, entertainment, Yes, it's done for ratings, otherwise you're not going to stay in business, but people want to hear that. So, but if you're on the other side and you don't like what they're saying, you go out and manufacture lies, because it's okay, because the you believe the end is justifying the means. In other words, you believe that if you can demonize them enough, uh, people will turn on them and they'll go out of business and we won't have to listen to them anymore. So, you know, uh, but Fox News is no different than the other news in that they have news programming. NBC has news programming. They also have opinion pieces. You know, MSNBC is part of what they do. You know, and they got all the, they got Ed Schultz, is it Schultz, is he on there? Uh, you know, Olbermann, uh, Rachel Maddow, um, you know, the, the list can go on. And the same with ABC and CBS. And, but because the White House doesn't like what Fox News is putting out, um, you know, they, they, they start lying to the people and saying, well, they're not telling the truth. <laughs> well, the truth evidently is measured by whether or not you agree, because uh, it evidently has nothing to do with actual fact. And the, and the, the interesting part is, is this fact-checking thing. Okay, now, humor, I didn't realize these days that humor is supposed to be truthful otherwise you can't tell a joke if it isn't the truth <laughs> you know so cnn does this uh cnn i'm sorry excuse me saturday night live does this this whole thing on on barack obama you know it's a comedy sketch uh, they they've done you know these sorts of things since day one and cnn fact checked them so they could go out and tell people what Saturday Night Live said and did, whether it was true or not. Uh, you know, so it's like, I mean, think about it. We we lie and it's okay, and uh, and we're we're caught up in this this total uh, politically correct uh, thing. And the combination of them two has created a bunch of third graders you know, who just can't and don't know how to deal with somebody with an opposite opinion. It's, uh, it's really, really quite amazing, and uh, I'm not sure where it's going to go from here, but we'll find out.
Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tom Remington, and join me again for another episode of Open Air with Tom Remington.